Hello, I'm Upstick, and welcome to episode 15 of Blockheads. I'm strolling around the castle patrolling for creepers because they are everywhere around here. It's, it's a little bit concerning. I, I ran into multiple ones. <laughs> There's one right at the wa water elevator. Then I'm terrified that Hex is going to log on. I'm still going to be loading this bad guy, you know? And he won't come out. I don't... I just, I can't get him. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Hopefully that took care of the creeper. He, he's burning to death. I see him. <laughs> okay. All right. That worked. Okay. That was a little bit close for comfort. I've already blowed this thing up once from going to the top and a creeper being there. As soon as I came out of the water elevator, you can imagine my reaction. I was a... Uh, I screamed a little bit. I, I screamed like a little squirrel girl. It just kind of happened. But yes, there is something I have failed to show off in the castle that I wanted to get to for this episode. Uh, the dungeon area. I call this the dungeon. You know, dramatic sound effects and all. This is the basement network of the castle. And he's got a bunch of mechanisms to check out. He's got some shulker box loaders, you know. Uh, I think this is actually a storage system. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen his episode on it yet. I've seen other, whoa, 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 Hex, you sick freak. Why do you do this, man? Why do you do this to me? It's like he intentionally puts creepers in this castle. <laughs> if it was my work, I wouldn't be so concerned, but it's someone else's work, and I'm really hoping I'm not going to get a really terrible surprise on one of these corner turns. I got, I need to just get out of here. <laughs> After I showed this off, it's like a little furnace system for a shulker box stuff. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to say this in the right way. I think it's like a shulker box furnace system that you can use. Uh, I, I could totally be wrong on that. So don't hold it against me if I'm wrong. We're going to explore this later. I'll ask Hex about what, our, what some of the stuff is. What are we exploring? Uh, but I do have some stuff to check out for today's episode. We've got the holy book right here. You know, it's got all the good stuff we got to do for today's episode because I wanted to do a cleanup episode to fix some of the projects that I had missed back in the past. It's got to be done. Let's do it now. So I'm guessing the best thing to do is just to fly around the world with my little book doing my little projects. You know, it's a little world, but I wanted to head over this way because I wanted to mention that last episode I had asked for suggestions when it comes to the bee farm area, what to put in like the little small courtyard in the very back. And there has been some reception to that, very nice reception I must say, and I put it in the book. It's the very last one, so it gives other people time to chime in to let me know what should I put there. Uh, should be some interesting stuff coming along for that. So I've got some ideas. It's popping in my head already. Thanks guys, appreciate it. And you know, proper credit will be given. In the book. But to begin off, we got episode 15 to do list. Ah, the first page. We gotta fix the freaking collection system at the Innerman farm. That should be easy peasy. Let me grab some hoppers. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that 32 hoppers would be enough. I ran completely out in my redstone shulker box. Good thing that I collected some wood from last episode. Maybe this will fill the bill. I quite possibly started with the easiest project. All it is is this, literally. <laughs> I'm just going to replace the blocks for the water flow. But this should be all of the hoppers. 32 was about three off. And of course, like a proper gentleman, I went back to spawn and grabbed some great concrete to fill in the mesh behind the chest. That way, whenever you look between the cracks, you only see gray, which looks really nice. And we got all of our hoppers in. We can actually take a look with Scout. Uh, if we can find a safer area, those stupid intermen, leave it to them. Ah, there we go. This one worked. So, back behind, we've got all these hoppers in, except for one. We've got some packed ice there, but it doesn't bother me too much. It's only one chest. And I don't think we're going to need this many interpearls. <laughs> oh, no. We've got a straggler. I left one. So, anyways, that's done. I've been meaning to get it done. I'm glad it is off the books. Let's look at this again. We've got problem number two. Builds an above water storage system at the mob farm. While in the area, unclog the super smelter. It's being funky. Now this one, 
might be a little bit of a bigger project compared to what we just done. So, time to do some work. Before we get all the way to the mob farm, I thought I'd just stop here real quick. I got it all fixed, I think. There was a bunch of sand and stone in the fuel lines, and obviously that's not a valid fuel source. So I took those out, and it should be functional once again, I, I hope. I hope I didn't mess up somewhere in the redstone. <laughs> because I think I blew it up with a creeper once, and I could have done something wrong. Might have to go back, do some proper testing with the thing. But I want to move along with this episode. We've got the mob farm right here. You know, the little storage system is supposed to be underneath where all the items will get collected. And, you know, I'm looking at this thing, and the more I think about things, I, I think I'm going to raise this wall up. That way it covers all the ugliness that's going to happen behind these chests for the storage system, because we're obviously going to have to have hoppers behind those chests. And probably a bigger mechanism behind that just to get everything transported upwards. And it's gonna be somewhat of a task, but I think we can get it done. I'm a little bit worried about the aesthetics and how it's going to ruin those. <laughs> oh, not looking forward to that. Maybe we can cover it up enough where it won't affect things too much. Bad gummit, diagonals are not gonna work. I'm gonna have to tear this thing down and rebuild it back up. Now if I just wait here for a moment, we should have some mobs going through the system and we can see how this thing works. It looks really nice. As far as aesthetics go, we tried to keep that, you know, it's mostly symmetrical. Ooh, that looks pretty good, actually. Uh, let's hit the water. Got a little secret item transportation system that you don't see. Oh, it should come up? Yeah, there's the items. They go right into the storage. I sat here and monitored it for about five minutes to make sure nothing gets stuck. And it seems to be working just fine. Uh, we've also got a lava pit on the other side, so if we get overstock, then that rest will get burned. And I was going to do like a full item sorter, but it would have just taken up so much space and would have made this place look super, super ugly. <laughs> oh man, I, I just, mm, can't, I can't imagine it. I, I don't want to imagine that. But it looks really nice from inside as well. I mean, we've got this nice tucked away chest. I mean, it's obviously not in a diagonal pattern. I realized like halfway through the time lapse, I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to work and to make it look nice at the same time. I uh, got a little staircase. This is a nice little staircase. I don't know what it is. The shape just, it laid out perfectly for me. But doesn't that look so cool? It's just got like a nice round shape to it. I like it. Cute little staircase. Uh, I might have to do some lighting on top of this, but this is done. I've been needing to get this out of the way. <laughs> I'm so glad to have extra storage because you never know when you want to come over here and do like a massive AFK session. It's in the background for us. Mission success. Let's see what's up next in Flavor Town. So we've got that one done. Ensure the ink farm doesn't have any mobs standing in the squid killing area. Because obviously if they grab some ink sacks, they won't despawn and it's really annoying. So over to the ink farm we go. This is what I find myself doing. Squirming around, seeing if I can find those stupid mobs. I found a few actually. I found about six of them. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, just taking a bow and arrow. I'm really hoping they're not spawning in here somehow. I mean, it's pretty lit up, right? I mean, if we were to just press F3, we could see the light. Uh, let's see, where it is? Server light, zero sky, 13 block. So most of these are covered. They're all covered up to the 13 block. And I don't think we're going to get any other mob spawns. I think these were just spawns left whenever I place the glowstone down because I was afraid to break the sugar cane with a sword. But now that we have a bow, we can shoot through it. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I died on the way over here. I lost a helmet and a sword somehow, but I kept everything else. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was flying around with Elytra and died from kinetic energy, of course, and lost a helmet and sword. How does that happen? 
I got everything else back. It was in a very easy location to get everything back, but I guess it just didn't work out. So I should have a little peephole. Yeah, perfect. And I think I got all the mobs. All we have to do is trigger scout, go through, make sure we got every one of them, and that we had cleared it. I think I got just enough stone brick. There we go. Sweet. Actually, I got a few pieces. And then we need to replace the slab. Okay, so let's go to solid ground. Let's do trigger, scout, and just take a quick gander. Make, make sure I have all the mobs. Ah, it's a little bit darker there. My eyes are deceiving me. But it looks like we got all the mobs that were resting in there. I broke the farm. I'll have to come back and put in some more seaweed for the kelp. Yeah, it's good. It's clear. So I got to put some more kelp right here. Somewhere in here. Yeah, there was one stretch. There might be a couple of fish spawns. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, yeah. I'm hoping that might grow. It might grow up until the point, so we should be good. So that one's out of the way. That one, I just, it was driving me crazy. It needed to be done. It's out of the way now. So what's up next in the handy dandy book? Ah, blank page. Dig out and make a proper AFK room at the Tekka Island within the modern builds. Now this one, I'm really looking forward to. Now this issue should be pretty easy to fix. We should have a feasible amount of material in these shulker boxes to do some kind of AFK room. And it's actually just right here. You know, I might just challenge myself and use those blocks. Uh, I am missing some nice concrete though. That would be super useful. There's also some chests over here. Yeah, we got some stuff. We've got glass, you know, natural materials. Uh, doing like a little modern inside, but this is what I've got so far. This is where I was planning to put it anyways. <laughs> and we'll have to dig this out and maybe do like a little room. Nothing too big because I didn't want to space it out too much where mobs will spawn. But enough space to make it comfy. I stood back and I thought to myself, this is a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of black and white. So I kind of went with a different theme for the AFK room. I wanted to go for more of a Spanish feel. And I think this color is really nice in the AFK room because, you know, it feels warm. It feels safe. I like that feeling. Uh, we still got to do a lot more decoration in here. This is just the basis, but that looks nice. Using scaffolding and lantern, uh, you can also use other decorations. It makes like a nice little table. Of course, this texture pack, there is like a hole in the middle. <laughs> I think it's fine. We can pass that through. Uh, but as far as like the Spanish look, I think maybe a couple of walls like this or each of these rafter sets, except for this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to throw things off. Maybe I could just leave that one the way it is. Uh, if we were to take some of this oak log, ah, yeah, we'll just put it right there. And I think that's going to look fine enough. We're going to put some stairs up there too, just to shape it up so we can get that natural arch. Just put a couple more of these in and see how it looks with the stairs in. Let's see, let's put oak stairs right there, right there. And of course, these last two. Ah. Yeah, I think once more decorations in, I might like it more. Now the question is, do we like this preview or not? I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of like it in a way. It's like a prelude to what's behind that wall. But it's done, for the most part. For something that we just slapped together, hey, this isn't terrible. You know, it does kind of look like a little storage room or an AFK room. Uh, it's got the chest, you know, some common decorations like the cactus. Ooh, the cactus really brought in some greenery. Uh, probably should have spread the love with the leaves a bit more, but I started just kind of cramming things in here just to make it look tight, and we kind of ended up with what we have. Got the inner chest, you know, essential items, crafting table, got a furnace, uh, extra storage if we need it. So I think we're pretty much finished with that one. Neat addition. And of course, last but not least, we saved the best for last, in fact. Build a custom tree with a residence inside. Nests in the tree. Inspiration provided by Whitefire, LP, Blaze, Pickle, and also Plug Baby. So guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Plug Baby had said to use maybe like a house theme for the area. That way it's like a little residence for the beekeeper. And then Pickle had said to put in some bees nests inside the tree. That way the bees will travel up to the tree and it'll just look really cool for the environment. I totally agree with that. And the other people agreed with me saying that custom tree sounds nice. 
and also included that maybe a bee statue would be neat. I didn't think of this initially, but it seems to be a lot of people's thoughts on that process. Yay, it's finally clearing up, nice and bright so I can work. So let me pull up my camera account, let's see what we can do. Now that's what I call a tree. Right at the sunset too. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's like, you know, I took inspiration from Animal Crossing as recommended by the wonderful LP. She gave me some pointers on, you know, how to approach this project. And I think the short and fat, you know, not upstaging entirely these other trees, but still grandiose in its grand theme. I think it fits perfectly. We've even got some bees nests back here. Yeah, yeah, there you go, pickle. Just as you had said, man, perfect recommendations. I don't think there's enough bees in the area for them to identify that as a nesting point. But, you know, once we start beating, breeding the bees, we should be good to roll. Uh, nothing else really out here, but this is my favorite portion. I, I just like the outside a lot. The inside, I didn't have much success with because it's just so small. Uh, put in an extra beehive or two in here. You don't really see these because they're connected to these blocks. And that's the reason I took one out from above this because it's connecting. And it just kind of took you out of that sense of it being an independent object. And it just kind of threw me off. Uh, we got a nice little workbench, you know, some extra wood for the beekeeper in case he wants to burn some logs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the help. It has come out looking great. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did I do a pretty good job of mishmashing the inspiration? And a big thank you to Hex for coming over and helping me finish off the tree. It was seriously no time and it was done. So thank you, Hex. You're an incredible man. But I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode. Have a fantastic day.